At least a month before the anticipated first snow, you should begin preparing all snow removal equipment for the winter season. Making sure your equipment is in top condition before the snow and ice season begins can save you many hours of misery when bad weather arrives. To begin, let's first check out the plow truck. Our plan here is to do a detailed inspection of the entire truck, inside the cab, from front to back, and under the hood. There are different models of trucks in each garage, and the one you'll be checking may be different than the model you'll see in this video. However, the preseason checklist is very similar for all trucks. It's a good idea to plan to do your inspection after the truck has sat inside the garage, at least overnight, because we'll be using the garage floor to help detect any oil and or fluid leaks. Start your inspection with the tires. How do they look overall? Are there any deep cuts or is there any severe weather checking? Next, closely check the tire tread condition. There should be a minimum of 4 30 seconds or 1 8th of an inch of tread on each of the tires both front and back. You'll also want to make certain the tires have enough pressure by checking them with a tire gauge. The tires should be inflated to the pressure indicated on the tire's sidewall for the appropriate weight of the vehicle. When checking the rear tires, use a flashlight so you can see the tire sidewalls between the duals. While you're checking the rubber, you'll also want to look closely at the wheels. Check to see if the wheel lugs are tight and if there is any indication that they have recently slipped. A bright mark to the side of each wheel lug is a good indication that the rim has spun. Some operators always center the valve stem between two lugs when mounting a wheel. Then, by just looking at the stem location, you can quickly identify a rim that has spun. If you note that the rim has moved, tighten the lugs. If this becomes a reoccurring problem, make certain you tell your shop mechanic about it. Also, check the axle bolts and make sure they are tight. And look for any indication of leaking around the wheel seals. If you see anything suspicious, mention it to the mechanic. That takes care of the tires and wheels. Now turn your attention to the hydraulic system. There are a number of hydraulic valves and hundreds of feet of hydraulic hoses on the plow truck. So take your time to check all that you can see. Check for oil leaks along each hose and around each fitting. On most trucks, you will want to raise the box to get a good look at many of the hoses and fittings. Once the box is raised, make sure to put the box stops in place. Then lower the box onto the stops before you start your inspection. Equipment vibration over time may make a hose shift from its original position. Hydraulic hoses should not be pinched constricted or rubbing against another surface. Point out any potential problems you see to your shop mechanic. Oil leaks can also be identified by checking the garage floor for spots where hydraulic fluid may have dripped. Hydraulic fluid is clear to amber or possibly red in color. Behind the truck cab, check the hydraulic oil level with the sight gauge on the oil reservoir tank. The tank holds approximately 30 gallons of oil. If the sight gauge indicates you need to add a large amount of oil, make certain you tell the mechanic about it. Lights are next on your checklist. Start with the amber warning lights mounted above the truck cab. These lights should be on at all times when the truck is operated with a snowplow or wing because this equipment makes the truck over width. Make certain they work properly. Brake lights. Do they work when you depress the brake pedal? If there is no one else around to help you check, look for reflections on the garage door. Headlights. Turn them on and then get out of the cab to make certain both sets are working. The chassis headlights and the higher plow lights. And don't forget to check both high and low beams. Turn signals. Check both the left and right turn signals. You cannot always trust the dash indicator arrow. So the only sure way to ensure your turn signals are working properly is to get out of the truck and check both the front and back signals for correct operation. Clearance lights. These mark the width of your truck for other drivers. Make sure those on the front of the cab are working as well as those at the front and rear corners of the dump box. Sander light or lights. Located on or underneath the back of the truck box, 
These light the spinner so you can see the material being spread. Light duty wing lights. Mounted behind the cab, they provide light on the wing. Heavy duty wing lights. Located high on the wing frame, they shine down so you can see the wing at night. Strobe light. Located at the back of the dump box, the strobe light helps make certain drivers can see the truck in poor visibility conditions. Lastly, check to see that all reflectors are in place, amber to the front and red to the rear on all four corners of the truck body. Inside the cab, check the engine air restriction indicator on the dash. The expanding yellow area indicates that air to the engine is being restricted by a dirty air filter. Filters should be changed before the yellow reaches the red danger mark. Check all other gauges and controls in the cab for proper operation. Now it's time to get under the hood to make sure the engine is ready to meet the rigors of the upcoming snow removal season. Fuel filters should always be changed at the beginning of the season. Also, check for water in the fuel water separator. Drain any water that is visible. At the same time, look for any fuel leaks. Check for evidence of leaking fuel along the fuel line and on the garage floor. You can, of course, identify fuel by its smell. Engine oil is next on your pre-season checklist. First, check the oil level with the dipstick. Add oil only if it is below the add mark. Avoid overfilling. Whenever you have the dipstick out, check the color of the oil. Make certain it is not a chocolate milky color which could indicate antifreeze is getting into the oil. Also, smell the oil and check for a burnt smell, an indication of engine overheating. Also, look around the engine for an indication of any major oil leaks. Small amounts of oil in and around an engine are, of course, normal. Also, look on the floor and under the engine for signs of leaking oil. Engine oil is normally black. The engine coolant system is next on our checklist. Check the radiator coolant level and add the required amount. If an unusually large amount of coolant is required, make sure to tell your shop mechanic. Next, check for coolant leaks, especially around hose connections. Also, look for wet spots on the radiator as well as on the garage floor. Engine coolant is blue, yellow, or green. While you're checking the radiator, also make certain there isn't any serious damage to the radiator fins. Inspect the fan belts for frays and cracks. If you find any fraying or cracking of the belts, point out the problem areas to the shop mechanic. If the truck has a manual transmission, you'll have to get under the truck and take out the transmission plug. The fluid level should be level with the check or fill plug. Also, check the garage floor for any transmission fluid leaks. Automatic transmission fluid is red or brown. Manual transmission oil tends to be a dark brown. If the truck you are checking has an automatic transmission, while the hood is still up, check the transmission fluid level with the dipstick. Add transmission fluid if it is below the add level. Never fill beyond the full mark. We're now on the home stretch of your truck preseason inspection. Take a look inside the truck toolbox. Check first for tire cables or chains. Pull them out and make sure they are in good condition. It is also a good idea to mount them just to be sure they fit. Also, make certain the toolbox contains towing chains, extra plow and wing pins, extra pin safety clips, and the tools you think you may need out on the road. Check, too, that you have a hand shovel, which can be in many places, but usually is attached or in a holder behind the cab or on the dump box. Now, check one last time inside the truck cab. Make sure the cab is clean and there are no loose items like pop cans, bottles, or log chains in the cab. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher that is properly mounted and fully charged, an ice scraper, a whisk broom, or snow brush for cleaning snow off your lights and a flashlight. Also on your checklist should be a first aid kit. Check the contents of the kit and replace any missing or damaged items. 
Also make sure that a CPR mask is with or near your first aid kit. And the emergency reflector kit. Climb back into the cab and try the safety belts, making sure the lock works. Check the two-way radio and make certain the display or power light comes on. Check the dash lights and all of the gauges to make certain they are all working. Also, while you are in the cab, check and make sure you have accident report forms. Look over the windshield and make sure it doesn't have serious pits, scratches, or cracks. Report any problems to the shop mechanic. And lastly, check the wiper blades. Tell the mechanic if you feel they need to be replaced. Also, make sure the wipers are working properly. Your truck has numerous mounting brackets or supports that are bolted to your truck to support the snow removal equipment. Check all of these brackets to make sure they are secure and that all bolts are in place and tight. One last thing to thoroughly check is your heating and defrosting system. Back your truck out of the garage and turn on your heater with the engine running. Let the engine heat up and then make sure all fan speeds are operational and the heat produced by your heater and defroster are adequate. With this thorough inspection completed, your truck should be in shape to meet the rigors of the winter season.